Hello world, welcome to my channel. I am Sahil and from today I am going to start a new web development series in which I will show you how to create a CRUD application using Vue.js, Bootstrap for PHP and MySQLi. I have already started a video tutorial series on Vue.js beginners course. If you want to learn Vue.js from the scratch then just click the above i button or you can also get the link of full playlist in this video description box. So before going to start this video, let's have a look of this CRUD application. So this is the final output of our CRUD application. So here in this main page, you can see uh, that I have displaying all the records from the database. So this is the database and table and all the, all the records is displaying here is fetched from this database. Okay. Now here you can see a button add new user when we click on this add new user button then a pop-up dialog is showing with add new user okay so from this dialog box we can add new user so let's add a new user so let's write the name email id and phone number click on add user so here you can see the new user has been added so let's check the database in the database also the user has been added okay now if we want to add the same uh, name user again then let's see what happens so here I'm just writing the same name that I have already uh, added and uh, let's see what happens and so here you can see a error message failed to add user because i have already added this user with uh, with the name wolfmania so that's why the user is not added okay so if i add new user with different name then it will only added okay click on add user so the user has been added now if you want to edit any user then just click the edit icon of any user that you want to edit so let's suppose I want to edit this user so click on the icon edit icon and here you will get the previous values of the record now I want to update the email okay so here I'm just writing xyz at the rate gmail.com okay and when I am clicking the update user then you can see the email of that user has been updated with new email okay you can also check the database in database also the email of that user has been updated okay now if I want to delete any user then you can just click on the delete icon then you will uh, see a pop-up dialog box uh, asking are you sure want to delete this user so if i click on yes then the user will delete and if i click on no then this dialog box will hide and the user will not deleted so let's click on no so the user is not deleted now if we click on yes then the user has been deleted okay you can also check the database the user has been deleted from the database also so this is the uh, final crud application and we will create this crud application using vue.js uh, php and mysqli okay so now in this video i'm going to show you how to design main index page using bootstrap 4 and vue.js so let's start so just close this and uh, now open your htdoc folder and create a new directory so here i am creating uh, crud crud view php crud dash view dash php so this is our project directory now open this directory inside the text editor so i am using sublime text so here i am using uh, opening in sublime text 
now just create a new file index.html okay now as i said you i i am using bootstrap for for designing the page so we have to include the bootstrap cdn link so for this just go to the web browser and open get bootstrap.com now below here you can see the css only cdn link so just copy the cdn link and paste inside the head tag okay i will also use font awesome library for uh, icon so let's go to fontawesome.com and click on start using free now here you will get the cdn link of font awesome library so just copy the link and paste just below the uh, this bootstrap cdn link and save and i will also use vue.js framework for designing this crud application so just open vue.js.org now click on get started here you can see the production version cdn link of vue.js framework so just copy this cdn link and just paste here okay now i will also create a file main.js for writing vue.js coding inside this main.js so we have to include this main.js file in our index.html so for this let's write script tag and here i will use src attribute and write the name of the file main.js so this is the setup for our project and this is the main.js here we will write the uh, vue.js coding so before writing the vue.js coding let's create a root element div so here i am uh, here i am writing a div with id app okay so this will be our root element div so we have to target this in our main.js file so let's copy the id value and here let's create a new view instance with variable okay so for creating uh, instance with variable let's write where app equal to new and view object okay so view now here we have to specify the element property and we have to write the id of the root element div okay now here we will specify the data property so this is our view instance now here inside this app i will first create a heading tag so let's quickly create a container fluid and uh, i will create a row and bg dark for background color sorry row bg dark for background color and here i will create a column lg 12 okay column lg12 and here i am just creating a p tag and here i am writing crud application using view js php and mysql i okay just set this copy the same text and paste in the title also okay now just give some bootstrap class to this p tag so just use class attribute text center and text light sorry text light display for padding top 2 okay save this and go to the browser now here just open your project php my admin and here write crud sorry crud view crud dash view dash php so the 
the heading is too big so we have to make it small so write style sorry style attribute and here write font size 25 pixel okay now it's look good now this is for the heading now we have to create another thing so we we will just create another container so here write div container now inside this container i will create a row row a row margin top three and here i will create a column lg6 now now i will create two column inside this row and in first column i will display a text uh, using h3 tag registered users registered users now give some bootstrap class to this text so text info text info and now in this column I will create a button in the right side add new user so for this here I'm just creating a button and uh, now just give some bootstrap class to this button class button button info sorry info and here just write float right okay now inside this button i will first display a icon from the font of some library so i will use i tag and here i will use fas fa and here i am just writing user now give some space using nbsp nbsp okay now here i am just writing add new user just save this go to the browser refresh so here you can see the registered user with a button now i will just going to create a horizontal line bit just below these two button and this text so for this i will i will just inside uh, sorry just below this row I will create a HR tag with class BG info. Okay, now just save and refresh. So here you can see the horizontal line. Now let's create a alert boxes for showing error message or success message. So just below this horizontal line, we will create. A bootstrap alert sorry alert alert danger for error message and here I am just showing uh, some static for this time I am just showing a static message error uh, message okay save this go to the browser so here you can see this this is a static message uh, with alert box now for success just copy and paste here right success and here right success message okay save so by default these two uh, error alerts are showing but we have to hide this by default so for hiding we have to go to main.js file and here I will define two data objects like uh, error message error message and here just write false success message give it false now just go to index.html and here I am using b dash if directive of Vue.js and here I am writing error 
message okay now just copy the same thing paste here here right success message now just save and go to the browser now you can see by default the two uh, the two alert boxes is now hidden okay now just below these two alert boxes i will design our table for displaying the users so we are on this container now inside this container i will create one more row and you can also write here um, displaying records records just comment this okay now just inside this row i will create a div column lg 12 okay now inside this uh, column i will create a table table and let's give some bootstrap class to this table uh, table table border and table stripped stripped okay table stripped now inside this table first we will create a t head t head and tr now some some bootstrap class to this tr tag like text center okay and uh, also bg info okay bg info and text light now inside this tr tag we will create our th tag and first is for id second is for name uh, third one for is email fourth one is for phone and this is for edit this is for delete okay save this go to the browser refresh so here you can see all the columns now now just for now i'm just creating a dummy user for just displaying in the page that how it looks and later i will use php or vue.js to display the dynamic uh, content from the database so for now let's create some static data so just below this t head create t body now in t body let's create tr tag and here also gives class text center and now td uh, let's write id1 and name wolf mania and email wolf mania at the red gmail.com and phone and here we have to create the edit uh, edit icon so for edit icon we will use this anchor tag and here i will use some bootstrap class text success sorry S sorry text success now here i will use uh, font or some library icon so just here i will use i tag and here in class i will use font or some class fs f a f a test um, edit okay just save this go to the browser so here you can see the edit icon now for delete just copy the same thing paste here and just change the class danger for red color of the icon and here trash plt okay so here you can see the delete icon now let's copy this tr tag 
paste three times and now here you can see the dummy uh, data is displaying here now now we have to create uh, the dialog boxes for add new user and uh, uh, and when we click on this button then uh, we will show a dialog box for add new user and when we click on this edit icon then a new dialog will uh, show for edit user and we will also create a dialog for delete when we click on this delete icon then a dialog box will show with uh, prompting uh, that do you want to delete this record or not so the rest of the design part will be uploaded in the next video so thanks for watching this video if you if you like this video then hit on like button and please subscribe my channel